Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with another video from Virgin Voyages. Look, we had the opportunity to go back on it at the beginning of January. So we're going to give you our honest review as we always do. We're going to hit on stuff like the ship, the cabin, the food, the entertainment. Yeah, everything man. that y'all want to know to make a good decision or wise decision on whether or not this is for you. We are gonna break it all the way down. Y'all ready for it? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna preface this by saying we went on the Valiant Lady with Virgin Voyages January the 4th through January the 8th. It was called the Sunset and Fire Soiree Cruise. It went yeah. to <laughs> Key West, Florida, which we had never been, right. and Bimini, Bahamas, which is their private beach club that all Virgin Voyages cruises from Miami visit before they go back into port. I will also preface this by saying that this was a, I don't like to call it a sponsored cruise. Right. It's a pre-worked cruise. Exactly. This was a celebratory cruise for the top 100 agents that brought business to Virgin Voyages in the year of 2022. Yes. We had the honor to be brought on board and we didn't have to pay a dime. Pause. Is it pause or bust? <laughs> <laughs> Because everything was on Virgin for us to go, we looked at it as an opportunity to try a cabin that we wanted to try before, but they're expensive. Right. So we were like, let's just go ahead and do the upgrade. So we upgraded our regular Sea Terrace cabin to a seriously suite, and we paid $1,000 dollars to do so. Right. So with that said, our opinions can't be bought, <laughs> even on a sponsor trip, right. on a pre-work trip. Our review, our thoughts, our experiences are our own. Let's yes. get into it. First things first, the cabin and the ship. What did yeah, you think about the Valiant Lady? At first sight, the Valiant <laughs> Lady definitely looks just like the Scarlet Lady. Like, it's a splitting image, for yeah. real, for real. The only difference is, is that their mermaid looks like me. Right. right. She's melanated. I love the representation. Yeah, and then when you come on board, they're there to greet you with the warm welcome, the smiles, directing you what's way to go, to go to your cabins, if you're trying to get to, you know, the pools or, or, to go, to or eat. go to eat. They was there. So the same thing it was like on, on the Scarlet Lady. So my first impression was, excellent it was excellent beautiful <laughs> and then the vibes was there the vibe was definitely yeah. there and when we landed in Fort Lauderdale our rock star agent gave us a call because you have the option to put your flight information into the app so that they are tracking you and because we were in a rock star suite right when we landed our rock star agent gave us a call her name was yep. Rosa yep. hey Rosa if you're watching <laughs> she was amazing she was like I see that you landed you know what time do you think that you'll be able to get here because the earliest you can get here is this time this time and i was like whoa, whoa. <laughs> i won't expect this right. at all embarkation a breeze like yeah, you have so your smooth. own dedicated line yep. and i was kind of taken aback by this because with carnival when you're in a suite or you're diamond platinum you're basically sat in a different area but the embarkation process is still the same, same. although you get to go first no, no, no. With Virgin Voyages, yeah. you are in a totally different, exclusive like, exclusive area, exclusive area yeah. of the terminal. And you have your own dedicated security lines. Yep. So I thought eventually we were going to flow into, you know, General Pop. No. Nah. <laughs> no, it's really dedicated. And you have, you're snaked around these very exclusive areas until you get directly onto the ship that was a game, game changer. changer yeah it and the area was, was really nice because you was, was able to get snacks and drinks meet other rock star um, um agents agents meet other rocks people who book rock star suites but of course i wanted to preface and make sure that you only get this if you book a suite right <laughs> sweet is the key word here right and if anything negative that i would say about the ship thus far i don't understand why they made a carbon copy of the scarlet lady and call it the valiant lady because the ship is definitely the same it has all the same entertainment all the same restaurants it's the same mm. 
but there is some different experiences yeah. on there so i want to we're going to talk about that but i want you to know that if you've been on scarlet and you expecting for it to look different it's totally the nah same. the only difference is is that it has the african-american mermaid <laughs> on the side of the ship as and, far as the look and the aesthetics and i will also say that this ship the valiant lady Scarlet Lady was very, we call it Instagrammable. Right. It was very upfront. They had areas where you just couldn't wait to take photos. This one just felt a little generic. Like it was like, okay, we spent all the money on Scarlet. And on this one, you didn't have like, you've seen those swings that said live, love, laugh. Yeah. Where everybody's taking the Instagrammable photos. That was just a blank wall on yeah. this ship. There were different areas on Scarlet where they actually had photo booths set up. Yeah. So you could take those memorable photos because they don't have photographers on board like that. They didn't have that. They only brought out the photo booth on Scarlet right. Night. And yeah. if you follow us on Instagram, you've seen that photo that we yeah. posted. So this one was, like you said, the exact same. Yeah. But a little dialed back. Yeah. On the Instagrammable things. And I equated to to this. It's like getting a name brand pair of jeans and the knockoff. <laughs> Don't do that. Now, and now what I'm saying, because <laughs> knockoff is still not bad because the knockoff still looks like the original, but it's just something about having the brand, the the original. So that's the best way I could probably e explain it to make it make sense, but hopefully it did make sense to yeah. you. Yeah. But beautiful ship. Beautiful. Like, yeah. Yeah. So if you got on the Valiant before you ha got on the Scarlet, you're still going to be blown away. You still, yeah. You ain't going to know but the difference. But because we yeah. know the difference, we're like, yeah. okay, they missed the mark there. They didn't really, they didn't pay attention right here. That's what we're saying. So let's get into this sweet. Yeah, so, this sweet. Oh, this seriously sweet, man. So immediately, my first reaction when I walked in, if you've watched our vlogs, hopefully you have, we have five vlogs up from this particular trip that we're doing the review on on our channel already we'll link those below yeah but when we walked in i wasn't immediately wowed and it's because i've seen several videos of this particular cabin right and i know that the cameras whatever lens you use can make it look like smoke and mirrors look bigger than what it really is. we thought it was a humongous space mm -hmm. it isn't yeah it's not small it's bigger than than the central sea terrace right sea terrace now but, but it's not like it's not huge. huge right like we thought it would be but it was perfectly laid out yes the bathroom was worth yeah. the price of admission yeah. listen that rain shower <laughs> the the bathroom I, had marble from floor to ceiling yeah <laughs> you hear what i say the longest vanity that a girl could ever need double vanity oh, yes. had a plenty of ample space for everything you needed had your rock star robes had your yeah. rock star slippers yep. you had a special sliding door that goes back and forth to the commode yep the shower you literally could have a party in the shower yeah if you that's really how much wanted to. in there now the shower doesn't have a door i was i was yeah, messed up because by that. that's how big it is yeah, it didn't need it, a door it, it, it need a door but you know, all the rest of the uh, the cabins have the rain shower, but I felt like I was able to enjoy the rain shower more in the Seriously Suite because you, you had more room. You didn't have to duck it. Yeah, you had to be like, you know, I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm not trying to drown <laughs> yeah. at this moment to wash my feet, you know, wash my legs. So, yeah, that was yeah. worth the price of admission. And we cannot forget. What's that? The curated, curated bar. bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all, that curated bar saved us so much money because we didn't have to buy as many drinks as we did when yeah. we was on Scarlet. We was able to make the drinks before we went and we made them strong. But we still had we still had liquor. We Left. actually bought two bottles back home. We couldn't fit all of it in our luggage. But mm -mm. yeah, it really and then the fully stocked refrigerator that had the beers in there. Champagne. Champagne. Wine. Not any champagne, but mo. Yeah. And then it had two like generics. I don't know yeah. what the name of them were, but they weren't like a name that I knew. Yeah. They had two extra bottles of wine in the cabin as well. Yep. Like I said, beers. They had um, Red Bull. Then you could call down there or get your Rockstar agent to bring you whatever mixers you needed. Yeah. And it also had all of the glassware and mixing utensils so that you could get your mixology. Yep. Nice like, stuff too. <laughs> I really enjoyed it because if y'all have followed me for a while, I like to do everything as low cal, low sugar as possible. Right. So I brought my mixers and I just shook it up. 
and was country able time to lemonade. country time lemonade and was able to make my own thing in the room rather than buying all that sweet syrupy stuff down there. Of course, oh I had my fair share, but I thought that was a game changer. Yeah. But <laughs> this is another thing that was smoke and mirrors. They're not full size bottles of liquor. No, uh -uh. they were 375s, 275s, maybe like a 425. But when you look at all the videos, they look like, like they're seven fifties. They're yeah. not. They are actually smaller. Yeah. So that kind of was like, okay, okay. So wanted to bring that to your attention. Yeah. So I feel like if you get one of the Rockstar Suites with the curated bar and you get the three hundred dollar bar tab, whether you have to pay for it or not, I feel promo. like those two things would. would it's gonna be, take you over. It's gonna take you there. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's it's gonna do it for you. Yeah. Like so. I said, we had plenty. Like. We literally left like two or three bottles untouched. Yeah. And the only reason we brought some of the ones home that we did was because we spent the day in Miami yeah. before flying out. So we was like... <laughs> so we was over there making drinks over so at we the was hotel. Over, we were over <laughs> at um, Eating Rock making our own. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that I loved in the suite, the bed actually had storage underneath yes. the bottom. That was one of the things that we complained about in the Central Sea Terrace is that the storage sucked, it sucked. It <laughs> but really in this suite it was so much storage man like i said under the bed the closet, the closet. had a lot, of, a lot of storage then we had dressers in there so it was like plenty plenty of storage but uh -huh. i had an incident yeah he did where but our agent well, um, uh, he warned us about it not yeah, our uh, agent our, uh, uh, our room, room attendant yeah room attendant warned us that the beds in there have sharp corners because the bed foundation is made of metal so he was like be careful when you walk around the bed, because a lot of people done, done bump their leg and mess their leg up and be in a lot of pain. So I did bump my leg one time, and yeah, he right, it was much pain. But one night, <laughs> we was coming back. I don't know if it was from pajama party, it was, from the club, it was. where we was coming from, but, you know, had alcohol in the system, and, you know, it all came home to roost. And so we ended up on the wrong side of the bed. No, no, no. He ended up on the wrong side of the bed. But anyway. And she was like, we need to switch. So me... Being dramatic, I'm going to jump over top of her to land on my side. But I jump, hit the mattress, bounced off the bed. And guess what? My god darn leg hit the metal frame, bust a big chunk of meat off my leg. Leg was bleeding. So we took care of that. We thought. We thought. Woke up the next morning. Blood was still everywhere on all the sheets. And we was like, how in the world are we going to be able to explain to them <laughs> that we wound up in here fighting and we you know cutting ourselves. Yeah. So it was bad. I don't want to want to be too graphic. Yeah. But my fear was that our room attendant was gonna think that I came on my cycle. That's how <laughs> bad it was. Yeah, like blood was everywhere. We I literally mean. I had to take all of the sheets off and the mattress protector. I had to take it off of the bed. Yeah in order because he literally i don't know what happened in the middle of the night the bandage moved but we can't include it. we said what probably was because i had been drinking alcohol and alcohol was thin, thins out your blood so it was bleeding i really crazy. thought he was gonna have to go to medic and get a few stitches so we had to end up telling the room steward is what happened because we didn't want him to have these thoughts and so when we told him make a long story short when we told him he was like yeah I saw that skit. He said, this room was effed up. <laughs> he said, I felt like opening the balcony yeah, door and just, just jump, jump out. out. <laughs> I said, say what? We loved our room attendant. Yes. Mahit. We haven't even got there yet, but yeah, we're going to talk about it. Oh my God. Room. Mahit was. Yes. He was the bomb. He matched our energy to the team. He came with his own first. Yes. And then when he realized we were just as crazy as he was, it went to a whole yep. nother level. <laughs> yeah. It went to a whole nother level. All right. Along with being in the Rockstar Suite, you have a daily cocktail hour. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, because this was a celebratory cruise for us, we had a whole lot of things that were on the agenda that we just didn't have control over. Right. So we missed those every day. Mm -hmm. We were only able to do it on embarkation day. Even our rock star agent came looking for us like, Lynette, Stanley, so y'all haven't, come no more <laughs> you haven't been coming to the receptions. And we really did not have an opportunity yeah. to do that. But I heard that that's wonderful. A lot of people enjoy it. Yeah, but I'm glad that we did get a chance to, to do it on day one. Yeah. Drinking all that champagne. You, <laughs> and you also get 
exclusive mm-hmm. access to Richard's rooftop terrace. Which is so nice up there. It's very peaceful, but yeah. it's like, okay, what do I do with these? Yeah, because we was <laughs> like, we so wish we had a group here. Yeah. So that, you know, we have some people to interact with, but up there, they you can order food and they got a bar. And they the do. food is good and the drinks is and good. And their own jacuzzi, <clears throat> hot yep. tubs. So very nice up there. Very, I, very nice. I have an idea now. For the 2024. But anyway, um, <laughs> so all in all, I experienced with the room and on the ship. Yes. Still a one. Still a one. But do it over and over again. The bed. Yeah. Let's talk about it. The bed was comfortable. Yes, the bed was way more softer than the central sea terrace. I feel like the central sea terrace was very firm. It's like it was very college like. Yeah, you got boom. <laughs> That's it. It had no gear, no, no cushion for the push. That's how the bed was in the central sea terrace. That's how you best around and bust your leg up. But uh, any who yeah, <laughs> um, Yes, very thick mattresses. Like I said, a very comfortable state. The sea terrace. Well, not the sea terrace. It is still a t- sea terrace. The balcony on this cabin was humongous. Yes. So we were able to have the two seats table and we had the hammock. Yes. And... None of it ever touched. Like it was just so much space. We could have got out there and did the lecture slide. Yep. We could have did the wild. Had a balcony party out there too. Hello. Uh, Good time. Good times. All right. Now we're gonna talk about the dining on the Valiant Lady. Mm -hmm. Now we said that the dining on the Scarlet Lady, we gave it the five stars all the way across the board on all the food. But this time (laughs) on the Valiant Lady, we given it three and a half to four. four star. Because we felt like all the food wasn't as good. It wasn't as flavorful. As it was on the Scarlet Lady. But let's start off and give you guys some examples. So let's go to Pink Agave. You know that steak. Yeah, that steak. The the, ribeye. Yeah, with the cheese on there. It was good. But, but it, on, was, it wasn't as flavorful as it was on yeah, Scarlet. And it wasn't as tender. Like the yes. one on Scarlet, you literally could like cut it with a spoon. Yeah. This but, one was still good. Right. But... If you didn't have anything to compare it to, you would probably think it was amazing. Right. And the same thing with the famous corn. It was good, but still feel like it was better on the Scarlet Lady. It's not as good, but it's still good. Scarlet's tastes like the corn was freshly shuck. This one tastes like it came from like a bag of frozen corn. Yeah. In my opinion. That's that's a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. So, but however, don't be dismayed or... This encourage if you are getting on there. If you have not been on Scarlet, you're not gonna know the difference. No, it's you're, still good. Yeah, you're gonna probably walk away saying everything is five stars, just like we did on Scarlet, because you don't have nothing to compare it to. Yeah. So yeah, the initial restaurant we tried was the Razzle Dazzle. We tried that on the Scarlet, but we right. feel like on the Valiant Lady, way better. Way better. On Scarlet, it was more of an experience. Right. Then the goodness of the food was still good, but it wasn't good like the rest of the restaurants. But we had the butter chicken, <laughs> which was life changing. Had the fried chicken. Shouts out to Terry from Addie and Terry. Said, bruh, yeah. you need to get the fried chicken. And Addie told me I needed to get the, the butter, butter chicken. chicken. Yeah. So y'all didn't steal us wrong at all. <laughs> at all. That joint was the bomb. And then the queen had went to Razzle Dazzle in the morning. Yeah, I went and with she, the sales team. And she was like, the bacon was to die for. Because the bacon was... And I don't even do bacon like 100 that. times better than it was on a yeah. Scarlet Lady. Yeah, they, it's like it's marinated yes. into like this syrup and yeah, maybe yeah, honey yeah. and cinnamon. Ooh, like ooh. the inside is, is very soft, but the yeah, edges man. are crispy. Baby. <laughs> you know, you know bacon is good when it's a side on the menu for them. For dinner. Yeah, so we got some of that for dinner. They had I can't they remember. They had some peppers, which yeah, was, the peppers. Yeah, no, they was they wanted. They but gave my squash ravioli. Oh man, I eat nothing squash, but the girl told me you need to try this. Yeah. it's gonna be really good. And I was like, only thing I eat is squash and fried potatoes. That joint, yeah, that joint was bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was bomb. Yeah, and then we actually tried the secret menu in the uh, in the restaurant. So we was like, we sold you guys on a Scarlet Lady review. Ask them for the secret menu. Yeah. Yes. Because we can't tell you what's going to be on there because it's right. a secret. <laughs> <laughs> but we just told you to go ahead and ask for that. All right. The next restaurant that we tried was Extra Virgin. Oh. Now, Extra Virgin, once again, was not as good as Scarlet Lady. No. But there was... 
a hit. Night. And we talked about it in, in the vlog, which right. was the oxtail ravioli. Shouts out to the sis that recommended that to mm -hmm. us before she had Because we wouldn't have gotten out. it. Oh my God. Oh, no. Does that really work? You putting ravi putting oxtail and ravioli? I need another order. Hey, thank you, sis. Y'all, I'm telling you, I didn't even know you could put oxtail and ravioli. First oh. of all, why are we disrespecting oxtail? Like, like how that? did you even think of that? Was you high one night thinking about that, Richard that's, Francis? That's what I've been saying and your about team? everybody on right. there. I'm like, why do y'all come up with the stuff y'all come up with? Somebody's most sweet. And the nookie soup. The what? The nookie. <laughs> that's what we call it. The nookie soup. Yeah, the potato gnocchi was good. Yes. Uh, yeah. And we tried the liver. Pate something? Yeah. Liver mousse. Liver mousse. She hated it. I loved it. And we, and then the pastas too was, we got the same pastas. Um, You got the. I don't even remember. That's how I know it's probably not memorable. Yeah. So the pasta was okay. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry we couldn't remember what it was, but we'll we'll probably be rolling right here so you guys can see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? The, the Noki was my pasta. That's right. It was. Yeah, that's right. I can't even remember what I got. You got the... I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. It's not memorable. Yeah. That's that's what we say, like, you know, food that didn't don't hit home, you don't remember it. You know how it go. All right, next restaurant, we did the wake, of course, but we did the wake this time for breakfast only, only on deparkation day. Because we weren't impressed with it on, on Scarlet. Scarlet. Yeah. So we didn't want to do dinner there yeah, on so this one. Not a, such a short cruise. Yeah. And that breakfast was still the bomb. It was. Um, We also did... Dinner and dash, still the bomb. We got we over there. We just got like the burgers and fries. Um, um, we did breakfast with Addie and Terry like three o'clock in the morning. Over there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and of that course, was, that was, was good. Fire. It yeah, was, it was good fire. At three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Or maybe we were just lit. I don't know which but one it was. It was good because that, that's what we got the next morning. It still tasted the same. Yeah, we did. Uh -huh. Yeah. We also did the room service because we wanted yeah. to make sure that that was still the same, and it was not. Room service on the Scarlet Lady was freaking amazing. Yeah, that food was this fire. one. It was almost like DoorDash came to your house. You know how it is. By the time they get to your house, some, some of the things are a little bit more soggy yeah. and whatever. Not as crisp and fresh. This how it was on Valiant. It was like, oh, there's a difference. Like, on Scully, you would have thought that they were outside your door cooking that skit. Right. Because that's how fresh, crisp, and on temp that was. Yeah. This one wasn't like that. My French toast was a little like, you know, it started to sweat and tie to the container. So it wasn't yeah. as crisp. Still good food, just not Scarlet. Right. And then finally will be Doc House, which we was looking very forward to the Doc House because the Doc House was fire on Scarlet Lady. But this time it was. <laughs> and it kind of put me in a bad mood because that was the first meal. It was our first it meal. First and if meal. you watched our video, I was like, I need to get down to the Doc House and yeah. get that chicken thigh. Because they had those chicken thighs, and when I tell you, they were so marinated, and they were just melting your mouth. As soon as we sat down, me and Addie looked at each other and said, this ain't the same. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like, and we, neither one of us had a comparison. Like, we never talked about it, but we looked at it and said, this is not, not the it. same. And, <laughs> yeah. and it wasn't. It was just like a piece of chicken that they sprinkled a little bit of salt on yeah. and put it on bread. Yeah. It so wasn't it, it, it was yeah, it kind of pissed me off. Yeah. It, it ain't kind of. It did. <laughs> piss us off like no kind of <laughs> all right let's talk about pizza and we're gonna roll it into the social club social club is where we got the wings uh, the wings and, the, and the philly hot dog yeah. the weird philly hot dog philly hot dog still fire i don't know why it works it's weird but it works, it works. but the wings mm. they were good but they won't fire like he they said were. they were good they taste like nothing to me like they yeah. literally did not have a taste to me I was yeah, like, do was, I have COVID or they something? Were, they were tolerable for me, yeah. They were yeah, tolerable. and the skin was soggy, so it didn't have like a snap mm -hmm. or nothing like that. So I, I didn't like those at all. But the white pie? Oh, they ain't nothing changed about that. Yeah, that's, yeah. So be I, sure. I think it was even better. I'm going to tell you, if you don't get the white pie, whether you're on Scarlet or a Valiant, you you doing yourself a, a disservice. disservice. I'm telling you, straight yeah. up, a disservice. You're not getting your money's worth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and talk about the entertainment. Yeah, man. If you looked at our other review on the Scarlet Lady about the entertainment and the entertainment staff, might mix a little bit in, might get ahead of myself a little bit, 
But the entertainment staff on this ship made the entertainment for us. Yes, they did. On the other ship, I felt like they were very <clears throat> clicky. Like they really just only dealt with people that probably had like a similar lifestyle background, you know, very familiar to them. Right. Anybody else, you got very welcoming. Hello, hey, how you doing? Da da da. Welcome aboard. Surface. But that's but it that was yes, as far yes. as it went. This one. They really pulled you in. Yeah. They really took their time to work the rooms. And that's why we say that the entertainment on this one was so good. We went to a new show that yeah. was just brought out to the fleet. And that is the Misbehave Show. Game. It's a game show. It's a game show. I will preface this by Ooh. saying this is one of those shows that I say that if you are prude, do not do it. Yeah. Because look up the definition of prude. We had someone try to challenge, like, why do y'all keep saying prudish? And I was like, look up the definition, and it tells you why we say that. It has things going on in it that you may not be comfortable with. Yeah. I don't want to get my, my channel flat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just look up the word, and then you'll, you'll get an idea what the show is going to be about or have parts of it in. Right. So we loved it, though. Yeah, we loved it. It was, yeah, um, Daniela, and I can't remember the other guy's name. I don't know. <clears throat> That was the host, but they were so funny, so entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I had, me and Terry had ran into the host when we was over at Mimi Beach. Club, Beach. Right? Yeah, so uh, he was a real nice guy. Both of them, really mm -hmm. nice, really nice. Yeah. yeah, and they know how to work a room. Yes. They really know how to work a room. Yeah, so we recommend you trying that show. The next one that was new to us, it may be even only on the Valiant Lady, but it's a ship show yes and it's more of like a dinner theater thing so if you've ever went to any of those kind of shows it's very much like that yeah you have the opportunity to choose between two different dishes but they transform the red room into this yeah. event space for the night i'm so glad we went when i tell you huh yeah the singing Man, homegirl. <laughs> man, homegirl sis boy was blowing them pipes i'm telling you man Ooh. Oh, we just like enjoyed ourselves, and it was very romantic. Like yeah. it was very much a vibe in there. Yeah, it was like going to like I felt like I was in a set of Love Jones for a minute. <laughs> like it was like really like romantic, but then you had your your circus soleil aspects of it with the entertainment. Good yeah, show. if you can get into it, make sure you reserve that. And let me tell you this: to um, be transparent, you are gonna love the show more than you love the food. Yeah. The food was very underwhelming. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, what yeah. is this? <laughs> and even like, Addie told us, she said, like, you might going to go get, get some food after eat. this. Yeah, yeah. And which we did. And we did. <laughs> was we, did we go with them? It might have been with them. Probably so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, The next show, that was the bomb. Do, Do reality. reality. Good God. The one this that, is my favorite show. This was the show that we missed on Scarlet Lady because we drank a little bit too much in the test kitchen. And in uh, Puerto Plata. Yeah. And we were out. Yeah, we were out. We missed. But man, the yeah. talent, the skills, the engagement. Yeah. I mean, you talked about it like they in their jeans and t-shirts. They're t -shirts. in Levi's jeans. And we're not talking that all of them are small. They climbing up these ropes. Yeah. They, and they, these poles. They got some stature yeah, to them. Yeah, back flipping, hula hooping, and... I mean, it was crazy. It was a lot going on. And you could not take your <laughs> eye off of it. Because you're scared you're going to miss something. Because you're scared you're going to miss something. So, yeah, we definitely, yes. It is It is one of the most popular shows on uh -huh. it. Yeah, so when it comes available for you to book it on the app, book, book it quickly. That. Don't even think about it. Book it. Yeah. Yes. If you got to cancel it later, do that later, but book it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, the next bit of <laughs> entertainment that we went to. Shout out to Peril DJ because yeah, I one. saw this on their vlog and I'm like, I didn't see this on ours. I don't know if they didn't have it on Scarlet or we just didn't recognize it. But it was a dance party. Yeah. And that's literally what it was. It was confusing as hell to me because you go in and it's just like nothing's there. And then all of a sudden the stage comes from out of nowhere and this big cat comes on the screen. It goes dark for a second. And then it goes dark and then it goes... <laughs> And then it becomes like a glow in the dark. And then it comes and techno. People dancing over here. And pe dancing over there. People are appearing in front of you. That I'm yeah. like, where did you come from? And they... Bam. 
and up and then the stage keeps moving it was a lot of confusion going on then now of course we're gonna have fun with it that's, oh yeah of that's course. just who we are but i'm like what is this because they had the opportunity to be so great because there were so many people in there just ready to have a dance party yeah but i felt like it was too much of the entertainment staff in it yeah to have a dance party like yeah. just let us loose let us get in there percolate so by the time we got to the dance party everybody was over we were wore out yeah we had left but it was good i recommend you still try it out at least try it yeah try it out because it could be your thing yeah so you know it had parts that we really loved and the parts we was like what the hell <laughs> like y'all try to be so far out of the box that y'all just missed the entire box. I did love the love train, though. Yeah, I you did like the love train. And everybody just go around in a circle. I'm like, you have everybody here ready to participate in a group dance. Yeah. Let them do that. Stop performing for us. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my take on that. Scarlet Night. Yeah. We still don't know what that is. <laughs> We'd have gone to all of the pre-Scarlet Night shows <laughs> yeah. that explains how we got to this part. It's something about an octopus, and they saved somebody. Saved this human, and, man. And now we have true love, and yeah. the octopus looks out for us, and yeah. under the stars or something. And then we just party, and everything turns red. Yeah, something like that. But we're going to say this. the Scar We felt like the Scarlet Night on Valiant Lady was not as intense. No. Yeah. As it was on Scarlet. On Scarlet, we thought that the shit was gonna blow up. That's I how we that, were burst into that's, flames. That's how it was high intense. the energy was. Now the energy still was high in this one. We had a good time. We did have a good time. Yeah, you know, we met um is his name Magic Mike? Uh what is it Magic Mike? Sailor Mike. Sailor Mike. <laughs> he really brought a lot because he had those like he brought those glow. Yeah, if hearts. you saw those hearts around on yeah. next. He literally provides those for everybody. And from what I understand, he's on a lot of sailings. And he yeah. always brings Something. some kind of trinket to give to all of the um, sailors. Well, at least as many as he can. Yeah. It was a lot. We had cut him out of Scarlet Light because his hire wasn't YouTube friendly. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we had to cut him. We cut him and I out. said, what you're not going to do is get us demonetized on Sailor Mike. <laughs> hey, but I feel good. Lynette and Addy was like, me and Terry was stupid for doing this. They were when we jumped into I the pool. I y'all, but y'all was, <laughs> was ignorant for that one. But it was so... It was so cold. It was chilly out there, but it was like so liberating to jump in that pool, though, man. It was like... Everybody had a fun time. But I was glad that I was able to do it with Terry, because I said I was not going to steal my brother's moment. I was not going to do it. Well, you he, can't steal his moment. You didn't want it to feel like... I'm trying to copy him. Right. And, yeah. So he was like, bro, we got to do it. We got to do it. I was like, okay. And then he did it. And I was like, F it. I'm going to do it too. He, <laughs> he literally looked at me and said, F it. I'm going to do it. And I just <laughs> rolled my eyes. I was so pissed. And then the VP of sales then tried to get me to jump in. I'm like, come on, come on. Y'all see them on the videos. Uh -huh. I'm like, come on, y'all. <laughs> So, oh, no, no, no. We're not going in and doing that with y'all today. So, yeah, I. some people say they go on version and they miss Scarlet Night. And they you don't should catch definitely it. go. Please go. Yeah. So, if you missed it on your first sale and you go on a second sale, and please do it. Yeah. Like, it's, you never have to do it again if you do it the first time. But I'm going to do it every time. But, I'm yeah, not, at I'm least not try ever it. Gonna miss it. When I get on, I'm not ever going to miss it. If you on our group cruise 2023 this year, Grown and Sexy, we go on Scarlet Night. Of course. And we all jumping in the pool. No, y'all not. We jumping in the pool. Well, y'all will jump in the pool. You too. Uh-uh. <laughs> While we're speaking about that, before y'all ask, unfortunately, it's done. Yes. Yeah, we, we have capped. Out. We, we have capacity. sold out. Yeah. We are at capacity. We do have the option on our website to go ahead and sign up for 2024. You you're just, just signing up and saying that you're interested. Be, get so, notified when it comes out. So when it comes out you'll get the first wave of notification of what it is because no one knows what it is yet. Right. Not even me. <laughs> Let me stop. I kind of do know what it's yeah. going to be though. It's going to be epic. All right. Listen, Slam Allen, he has a website. He is rotates between the Virgin ships, the Scarlet and the Valiant. Yeah. He is not going to be on our ship when we go on the Scarlet. I and I was so mad. Pissed. I'm hoping that the schedule changes and he end up on it though. But I walked around the corner and all I could hear him singing was Otis Redden uh -huh. and I stopped in my tracks and I was like, who is this? The man can blow. Yeah. Afterwards, he came out like while he was on break and had a conversation with us and we just cut up. Yeah, That's we how did. we got his information. Like, 
an amazing time. When I tell you that roundabout was packed every night that it was. he performed. That he won, yep. It was packed. With you, my life. So wonderful. It was a good breakup to have. I really enjoyed yeah. that. So if you've had the pleasure of listening to him on a version ship, please put that in the comments. Let us know your experience, mm -hmm. what you thought about it. Did you like it? Yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. And leave yeah. him a review or something on his website. Yeah. Also, the club. We feel like the club was still the same. It was the good moments and then some yeah. moments. Very playlicious, but that's just, that, to me, that's, that's carnival, version, it is. resorts. It's like you only catch a few times where you might get a Go DJ, <laughs> a DJ that will read the room, but that's like so far in between. But like I always tell you, whatever comes on, Join the energy because your That's song right. is going to come. It is. You just don't know when it's going to come, but it's going to come. And then you have to also take into account that this sailing that we were on had a ton of virgin reps on board. Yeah, it did. And travel agents. So <laughs> some were a little bit more reserved than others because it was part of a business voyage. Right. So that also resonated in the club too, I felt. I felt like a lot of it was people really not letting loose because I'm kind of at work, but I'm playing too. Yeah. So a lot of that came into play. Right. And lastly, for entertainment, the casino, just like on Scarlet, oh, the casino horrible. looked at very depressing. <laughs> it had it's, more it's, people though. It did have more people over there, but I feel like Virgin didn't design it for you to be attracted to the casino. No. Like, yeah. Although they have casino voyages. Right. But the um, it still applies that if you use your credit card or your debit card, it's a 7% charge. So you have to use cash if you don't want to be charged extra. So it's still in the same spot over <laughs> by the manor. It's still over there. Mm -hmm. Just around the corner from the roundabout. So but tell them about the little room that Terry told you oh, about. Yeah. I didn't even know that I, was there. They actually have their own like smoking room in the casino where you can go smoke cigars, cigarettes. And the ventilation system in there is amazing. You walk in there and you don't know it's a I smoking room. I didn't smell. I ain't smell any smoke. Yeah, like, I didn't smell smoke. Like, wow. And it has a few slots in there where you can... You can still gamble, yeah. You can so still gamble to, while you're yep. in there. But this is what we said on our previous review. Things are hidden in plain sight. There right. was nothing indicating that was the smoking casino. Yeah. There was no sign on the door, no sign near it. Like, I legit looked because I'm like, I'm not crazy. Yeah. Where did this door come from? So I thank God that Terry showed me that. Yeah, because it literally looked like somewhere like the crew would go in and out of. Yeah. Now let's talk about the service. Just like on Scarlet Lady, on Valiant Lady, the service was A1. I think it was better on Valiant. You think so? I think the service, the service crew were so personable. Yeah. Like they were on Scarlet too, but this one, I felt like they let their personality shine. That's on a, this that's, one. That's our room stewards, yeah. Our room attendant. <laughs> and uh you remember when we, when we went to um Extra Virgin? Yeah. And they're the really guy. they're still really big on allergies. Yeah, you know? what's your allergies? Yeah. yeah. So what happened was I asked our a waiter for a recommendation. I'm allergic to pine nuts, tree nuts. And <laughs> he recommended a dessert that had pine nuts in it. So I looked him dead in his face and I said, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> and he got on his hands and knees. He said, oh, I'm oh, so no, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Would you please forgive me? <laughs> so the people in the restaurant came around and was like, is everything okay? I said, he just acting up. The and and then his the boss knees. came around and called his boss. They were like, why are you on your knees? <laughs> why are you on your knees? <laughs> and then from that point, then the boss just kind of like gravitated to yep. us. And I said, don't pay him no mind. He just tried to kill me. <laughs> so I felt like they really like matched energy a lot. I just like the, yeah, the, the flow of how they did things better. Yes, they treated us very well. And I know that when you get on there, they're going to treat you very, mm -hmm. very well. So the service, A1. Yeah, while we're talking about service, we talked about our room attendant. This is how our vibes match so much. He let us know that he was getting off the ship when we got off the ship. Yeah. And he was going back to India for a few months to be with his family before he transitions over to Spain, I think he said. No, Greece. Greece, yeah. Over to Greece, and he'll be doing the sailings out of Greece. Do you know that man, in his regular outfit to get on a plane, ran down the hall before yep. we left? to come and give us a hug. 
Yep. And he was like, I had to come see y'all before. Like, ain't you supposed to be gone? You said so you got like a 16 hour flight to head of you, man. Yeah. He said, but I had to see you before <laughs> yeah. he left. And he just hugged us and he said, I hope y'all don't get offended by none of the jokes and stuff. I I'm said, like, no. You said, you made our day, you man. Made we look forward day. to seeing you every day. He said, I just, he said, because I like to let loose with people. And I said, and you did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so good. Yeah. Rockstar Agent Rosa, A1. And his sidekick. Two. Yeah. We he, loved her too. And what I cannot remember, remember her, her name. name. Was it LaPete? LaPete. La, La. It was La Pizza. something. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. lost something. Yeah. Yeah, she was just as crazy as he was. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the public areas, pools, recreation, all that good stuff. We're going to wrap it up. Fitness all in one. The pools are still a joke. We don't understand why it's designed like that or why is it so small. Yeah. Put it that way. Keep the same design, make it bigger, scale it. <laughs> right. Like, I don't understand it. But it was easier to get into them this time because we had a smaller sailing. Yeah, it wasn't so as crowded. It wasn't as crowded at all. Also, I still <clears throat> think they need to redesign all of the fitness areas because it's a waste of space. No one is working out 24-7 on these ships. You have workout equipment all over the place in dedicated yeah. areas on the ship, and they're completely vacant every time you go walk by them. Yeah, that's because Richard Brunson is heavy into fitness and health and fitness. So Yeah. Another thing is the gym. The gym is still very inviting. inviting yeah. We still didn't work we didn't out. Work out. <laughs> it called our name, but we was like, not this time either. <laughs> we, we ain't doing it. We saw people on the machines playing solitary, playing different games on the yeah. machine. Candy Crush. So you can entertain yourself while you're working out on those machines. We did go up to the track, though, this time. We, we did walk the track. Yeah, we did so, walk the track. Because I was like, look, Lynette, you getting a little fluffy. So we did <laughs> walk the track. Public areas, still spotless. spotless. Don't see no dirt nowhere. I, I, yeah. They were painting every day. Yep. They cleaned the balconies while we y'all saw what... <laughs> I was blown away when I saw them down there painting the lifeboat. Yeah. I was like, you painting the light bulbs too? Mm -hmm. We actually saw them take one down and test it out, which yeah. we have never seen on any ship. Nah. So we were like, oh, that's cool how they were able to do that. You yeah, know, hopefully we'll cool. never have to experience it. Right. <laughs> but it was, it was cool to see. All right. And lastly, is this worth the money? As we said with Scarlet Lady, we don't think they charge enough. We don't think they charge enough. <laughs> For what you're getting and the experience you're getting, no kids, good food. It's good, all included. All inclusive, good entertainment. They nailed it. Everything that has been complained about in the cruise world, they have answered the questions. They did. Um, it's still no announcements. They make you be an adult, as you should be. Yeah. Perfect opportunity for you to get away from the kids. You know, you probably... You're going to have your family vacation on Carnival or Royal or, or Norwegian. Go. But this one for you. Right. For the value you're going to get with just you, your, you, your spouse. Included. Yeah, all that. It is definitely worth it. Once you pay the one, the one price, and if you, you drink alcohol and you buy the bar tab or you get the free bar tab, you basically ain't got to go in your pocket no more. No mm -hmm. more, unless you want to buy souvenirs like right, we did. Right, like we did. Yeah. Yeah. While we were on there, because this was a like a promo yeah. <clears throat> kind of thing. They did give us some money to spend right. in the gift shop, so we bought the shirts. Yeah, so if you love all-inclusive resorts, this is the perfect all-inclusive resort water. on the water. <laughs> Yacht style. Yes, yes. If you want somebody to book you, I'm your girl. Of right. course. Got and all that information is going to be down in the description. And we hope that this review actually helped you make a decision on whether you want to go on a Valiant Lady. And if you love this review, you're going to want to check out this video right here of our review of the Scarlet Lady, and we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.